Welcome back, everybody. My name is Ace. This is the Wolves Garar channel, and your watch begins with the Run Gore Beginner Experience. That's not the entire title. This is a bit of a prologue, as the game is not officially going to come out in another few days. I think the 2nd of September, give or take, if memory serves. And if you want to directly jump to the gameplay, as always, check the description box below. I will put the gameplay code, time code there, so you can immediately skip to the good bits as well as find all the necessary links you may find required in your life. Now, Rungor. This is the prologue, as I was stated, and the game itself is a roguelite deck builder. Kind of. Kind of. It's more like a hand builder. You don't actually build your deck. It has also got, uh, has this idle auto-battling element to it, which is its main uh, feature it tries to push forward. This, this idle battling hand building, which is funny to me because it, it says it wants to have you idle battle, this auto battle, but then it tells you very much also at the same time to be very active. It's a bit of a an oxymoron, but is it fun? That's the, the important part. Now, like I said, this is a prologue, so we may not have the whole story here. There are a lot of good things about it. You have lots of RNG, different character classes, unique events that may give you equipment. Although there might be a little confusion as to what you can actually equip at any given time, which is still throwing me at times. Now, when you start, or at least prior to starting, you can choose the tutorial, obviously, the jungle, the dungeon. These are the areas uh, you can run the game in. They become progressively more difficult. These little notes here on top indicate with what characters you have beaten the game with. The middle one being the ranger, the ranger guy, aptly named. We also have a knight guy, and then we have the guy that I have not yet unlocked. Although I'm not entirely sure if that's actually a human being, judging by the silhouette. But aside from guessing who that Pokemon is, you can decide which character you want to play with. They have some basic indicator of stats, although quite frankly, I don't think it matters much because it all hinges on the cards you're going to get to see if your character is going to do a lot of damage or can tank a lot of damage. They do have a starting uh, relic, which is nice. I think this is about 10% 10 uh, 10 HP recovery after each fight. And here you have one second of dodge after each card played. So this is more passive, while this is more active. So much for idle battler. Although granted, I do find that this character is the most broken one so far. We're just, so we're just going to try that out. Now, if I don't do anything, the character will fight. You can see the blue bar. It fills up, pops off, and then it kills. And your cards stay. This is what I mean with not a deck builder, but a hand builder, which is very interesting. Now you, after each battle, you get to choose three things. You can choose equipment that sometimes drops. You can't stack helms. You can't stack boots. You have to choose which helm, which boot. Um, we are the ranger guy. I like dodge because, well, if I play a dodge card, it's like three seconds of dodge, two for the card, one for the passive. And I like a poison build. So we might just try out with some poison build. We could just see the boss here. Steals a card with every hit, gives them all back after death. Very simplistic, so you want to play them before he gets to do anything, if you can. So you can see what to expect in the battle. Two seconds of cooldown, or dodge left, I mean. There you go, they're back. Let's pick up poison, because that's the, the thing I want to try and build, a poison deck. Everybody always plagues me, pardon the pun, to make uh, a poison build in games like these, so finally giving them what they want. Blows up after 10 seconds. That's a mood and a half. All right, play card. Get a second. Let's get some dodge. Some attack speed. Killed it in time perfectly. Now, if you can kill units without taking damage, of course, prior to spending all your cards, you can get to keep them, which is important because at the end of the road, there's a boss that may need a little bit more love than the average enemy. Uh, your cards liked it. There you go. We upped their quality. I uh, don't think it really matters much. Keep stacking the poison. Mm, attack speed by four. Let's do it. I'll take it. That's a lot of attack speed. Let's see if we can time our dodges correctly to avoid the damage. 
perfect. This is what I mean with that. You have to be a little more active on this character. Dodge, dodge. Ooh, each card played increases your attack speed by 60. Yes, let's go. So we can dodge. And while we're dodging, we get to become faster. Play the dodge card. All right, I'm seeing it. Ooh, I was just a little slow. Yeah, I hate to see it. Your mom. Yep, I feel that. Let's retry. We can do this. I've beaten the boss before. I can do it again. So help me. Play the card. Let's go in. Perfect. Let's keep walking. Um, and now it's only two as opposed to four. That's regretful. There are cards that have different effects. Luckily enough, this particular game does tell you what these effects are. Critical attack. Next deck will do 100 more damage. 100% more damage. Love that. Every attack gives one second of dodge. Duration four seconds. Mm. Now we're good. Let's take that. Let's put the poison up. There we go. Easy kill. I wonder if I could just let it die and then just dodge it. Ooh, love this as well. Applies poison, upgrades after each play. The thing is, you have to keep getting it in this particular screen or find ways to cycle your cards back as you use them. When an enemy misses, apply one poison to them. We are a dodge person, so you can see where this is going. I certainly do. And that's a, an item, so that's going to be with us for the entirety of the run. Okay. Could have played another card and decided to um, use my health to leverage the cards that I have and keep them. Mm, for three battles, one damage for five battle. And let's do just faster attack. Who knows? Maybe we can preserve more health than we would have healed right now. That's my logic there. Uh, There's some critical damage. Let's go. Not a lot of poison cards, sadly. Let's avoid that damage. Could have used the other card. Would have probably been more efficient. There you go. Now it's a little better. Uh, dodge for two seconds. Not a terrible thing. We have no boots yet. And every single time we dodge... Um, yeah, we do end up giving ourselves a little bit of a benefit through our helm. Doing a little bit of damage there. Mm. Dodge for one second, but three attack. Let's do uh, the poison application here. Let's apply the poison. There we go. Ooh. Increased poisons you apply by one. That's huge. All start. Uh, fight start. All enemies get two marks. Marks are a mechanic to interact with certain cards. We are not playing a mark deck, so that's not necessary. Gives you berserk effect when you dodge. Berserk means you get 10 attack speed, but hero takes 50% more damage. If I was a direct attack build, this would have been a build creator, a build maker. But I'm not. I am poisoned, so we're going to go with the poisoned one, obviously. Every four attacks slows down the opponent. Not a terrible notion. Gives dodge for one second for each poison applied to the enemy. That could be huge. Gives a random poison card. I like that. I actually prefer that. Because then I can trigger the card, get a second of dodge, and get a new card immediately as well. Just free value. Alright, play that. Play that. Play that card. Beautiful. Because we want to keep playing that card as often as we can. Uh, this is two, that's one, so it would be an upgrade. Um, let's grab that, okay. We want to trigger our passive as much as we can. Oh, we're stunned. That's okay, though. We still killed them. Oh, that's a lot of gamble. Do I like the gamble? Interesting pair of boots, isn't it? Um, sure. The chance gets lower with each play. But it's not ethereal, so...
It does allow for a lot of dodge coming our way. Which is very good. We might be able to use this to burst down. The next card will be played five times. 10% chance for any card to play twice. So that's five. Just massive burst. Okay, I'll go for the 10%. I'll go for the artifact here. Because that's permanent, right? The other ones were like temporary. Ooh. Um, definitely that. Get the random card. We take the dodge. I think that's very good. Perfect. The package. 15 already. Let's grab that. Um, no. Don't think I care about those. Sure, we'll do that. Okay, we have a lot of dodge. Look at that. We are destroying. That was brutal. HP lost six. Yeah, okay. I, I made some mistakes, all right? I am not perfect. I am but a human. The dungeon, on the other hand, is a far more difficult fate. I have not been able to get past the dungeon with the ranger guy, which I find to be phenomenally more... Um, stronger all right let's do a quick dodge to preserve energy or not preserve energy to preserve life i mean people who are dead don't typically do a lot of damage let's get these cards and get a poison perfect ah and yes now we have the delightful conundrum of having to fight multiple units with different attack bars so the intermittent intervals of getting hit go up drastically which is rough i still don't understand why one would want to have one second dodge at the beginning of a fight it doesn't seem like a very useful thing maybe i'm wrong maybe i am wrong okay we out poisoned the poisoned barrel randomize my stats uh and add a couple sure I could use more cards. Now we're getting some night cards. Um, let's get some poison. Mm. Not really getting any good cards yet. Or items that facilitate a poison build. Let's get a dodge here. Get some armor. Okay. Armor also resets, by the way, after each fight, unless you have an artifact that states otherwise. Very similar to how armor works in... Uh, Something like Slate Aspire, lest you have something along the lines of Barricade. I think it's called Barricade. What's the thing called that allows you to preserve uh, armor or shield, whatever? Um, definitely want those. That's still crit damage. That's a like poison. Go from there. Mark. Okay. Now, the good thing about marking is that you can aim which target you want to aim for first if you have the ability to mark. And typically, the units in the back are also significantly squishier. So if you have a mark art, you uh, get a lot of value out of that notion. We did manage to get this. I kind of want to have some attack speed. I need something to work with. Just a little something, you know? That's a lot of health we have to carve through. Ah. This is the one unit that I keep walking into as a bit of a problem. But look how fast he attacks. He gets quicker and quicker and quicker and becomes more and more problematic. Now, luckily enough, our dodge is not trigger-based or charge-based, it's time-based. So we were able to leverage that, luckily enough, due to our RNG with the gamble card. Artifact raises your damage by one when enemy misses. That's pretty huge. We are causing a lot of misses. Gives you crit when a card is played. Mm. So that's just permanent crit then. Give reincarnation 50% HP once per battle. Once per battle? Ooh. That's real. That sounds broken. Because the entire road we walk is not a battle, right? Like every battle is like literally just every single battle we have within this level. So we could just die a million times as long as we keep it to once per battle. That's insane. I'm going to go with artifact because I need something. Um. Nope, I still have faith. I still have faith. The poison built. I can still do it. 
You know when I said we can still do the poison build? Come on, two, one. Whew. Yeah, that was calculated. That was absolutely... Oh, there it is. Fight started. Random card in your hand gets affected for poison. So this is just massive poison boots. Which is very lovely. Will it be enough? Because, I mean, it is getting healed by this shaman over here. Now, luckily enough, his uh, tactic is to heal and not doing damage to us. Very useful. Ooh, apply six improved versions of this boot. Let's go with the improved version. We'll take my favorite card. Mm -hmm. There you go. Played my uh, hand wrong. Got hit. Do you have free will? Nope. You can't pick cards before battle. Instead, you get five random cards. Oh. Oh. Okay. That's what that means. Interesting. Um, that's a good one. Each card played increases... Oh, I can't choose. I got random cards, which means I also don't get gear anymore. Oh, no. That is... very unfortunate. Oh, well, at least I don't have to think anymore. I have no free will. It's all good. It's all good. Look at my attack speed, though. God damn. Yeah, this... And we get our uh, artifact. Yeah. Pretty good. Oh, wow. That is... Oh, I hate myself. Always choose free will, guys. Always choose free will. Don't be an idiot. Free will is important. Slime. All right, here we go. Why do I get the feeling there's more to that fight than... I need AoE, sir. Sir. I need AoE. Sir. 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 I need AoE. What's happening? Sir, what am I doing? What? What is happening? How am I... Wait, what? How am I supposed to unlock that? Or unlock, sorry. How am I supposed to be that every single time you kill them, they clone themselves? How? But... Hmm, there must be some trick to it, or maybe it's designed... No, look, there's a lot, of, plenty of road left. There must be some method to the madness here. Anyway, we unlocked a new, new character. I've never played this character before, so let's go to the beginning. To the jungle. What does he do? Log guy. So it is a guy. He was just holding on to a log. Attacks have each... Attacks after each exhaust. Okay. What does exhaust? Attacks an enemy exhaust. Must be some kind of like slowdown effect. Um, oh, two armor. Very nice. Ooh, exhaust. You can't draw this card anymore. I see. Attacks and stuns enemies. Exhaust. So the cards have greater value, but you can no longer use them. Uh, when you have used them. Interesting. That's a lot of poison. Okay. So this is your quality over quantity. Every 8 attack exhaust unexhausts a card. That sounds pretty good for us. Um, gives 2 card exhausts. Stuns an enemy. Let's go. Heals 20%, yeah, 20% of max HP. That's pretty good. Okay. Rub the gobbo. Oh, rubbing the gobbo is very painful. Luckily for us, gives four armor when a card gets exhausted. That is insane. Because like every everything here is just straight up exhaust, right? 
Um, yeah, let's get a regular attack so we have something we can keep drawing. Very good. Um, what is this? Each four exhaust stuns the opponent. That's even better. All right. Let's go with that. We are an exhaust build. Okay. Ow. Ow. Doesn't matter, we won. Triple hero damage if no cards are exhausted. Attacks an enemy when a card gets unexhausted. In each battle, first exhaust card is played twice. That's pretty good. Let's go with that. Um, Hyper, ex it will not come back ever. Okay. Um, uh, gives berserk while this card is exhausted. Exhaust. Okay. This card will never come back. It's pretty intense. Let's see. Ooh. Okay. So you do keep your berserk status by the looks of it. Attack speed four. Now we already have a weapon. Until the end of battle. Let's go with that and get some exhaust armor gain here. There you go. Perfect. Every four stuns the opponent. That's the same boots I already have. Let's grab those. Oh, I don't want to stun. Hyper exhaust. Next card is played three times. Let's get a stun. Uh, let's do that. I guess I could have stunned the enemy and then go for the stun myself. Very good. Very strong, this guy. Very straightforward. My cards liked it. Increasing their quality. I don't think there anything actually went up because none of these cards had proper quality gain. If you play four exhaust in the battle, it gives two cards and get destroyed. It gives two cards and get destroyed. I don't want to lose my boots constantly. It seems like a terrible idea. Hmm. Let's do that. There you go. Burst him down. The package. Um, let's get a stun. Let's do that. Stun the enemy. Stun the enemy again. Oh, I lost. Ow. Ow. Yeah, okay. I think I did the order wrong there. Didn't have quite enough damage to burst him down. And as a result, I died. He's very slow on the attack speed. You really need to be able to play the combo cards quite well with him. Otherwise, you fall to the floor. Interesting character. Still think the Ranger is better. Let's check out the Knight for those who are interested. As you can see, we have the Mark. Then the Mark doesn't really do anything, sadly. Unless you have cards that interact with the actual mark effect or if there's multiple enemies on the board so you can focus which one you want to start off with every four attacks give two armor very nice here for example gives armor card if an enemy is marked gives another one so there you go uh sure we'll do that we'll mark i marked it where's my armor card where is it i came here for armor cards it it wasn't here that's unfortunate. Maybe I misplayed it. I probably misplayed it. Gives a base card. Okay, so that's free card gain. Doubles current armor. Interesting. Applies mark. Gives a card. If an enemy is marked, gives another one. And then... Uh, ooh, yeah. Let's do this. I think that's better. 
Okay. Oh, ow. Come on. You can definitely see that this passive to heal after battle is definitely something you want to rely on in the early stages. Ah, uh, none of this is really good. I'll do one damage for five battles. Why not? Why not? Four armor. Hmm. Let's get some armor ourselves and some attacks. Very good. There we go. Don't want to get poisoned too hard, so I had to burn through all of that. Um, no, I do like that. There are cards that give you other ones on the offensive side. Attack an enemy implies mark. That's useful. Applies mark gives mark trigger card. Attack once more if the target is marked. Okay, so we got some damage in. Will we win? We should be able to win this easily, right? Yeah. All right. Armor gain is increased by 100. That's huge. Increase the amount of marks applied by one. That's also pretty good. Doubles the hero attack until he takes damage. Resets each battle. I suppose if you have a lot of, like, starting armor. I'm assuming this means, like, health damage, not armor damage. Otherwise, this is literally useless. Let's go with the increased armor. Increase all armor gain by two. We have no helm yet. All right, I, I'm starting to see um, the build that's happening. I'm starting to see. Okay, let's go. We have a lot of armor here. Unfortunately, they attack quite quickly. There is an artifact in the game that returns damage. That would be really nice right now. Really nice. Um, that's not something I want. I already have that card. That exact card, in fact. Alright, so I want to start with um, this one. And then play the other two. Okay. Keep the armor double. Every four attacks give eight armor. The curious thing is that the number goes up when I... Oh, wait, no, that's my base attack. The auto attack also counts. Very useful. Ooh. Every single time we block, and we're blocking a lot, our attack speed goes up, which actually gives us more armor. Oh, but this is like all armor gain by two is also so good, though. The decision I have to... I'm going to try it. Probably going to regret it. But that's okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, we're speeding up. Speeding up. Three, four. Yeah, it gives four armor. Which, of course, is increased with the artifact. Um, sure, we'll do that. Why not? Mm, 0 0.6 is the card we have. Uh, okay. That's actually a good card if you play it. It upgrades each time. Okay. This might be useful for uh, surviving against the boss, which we are fighting right now. Every second attack applies a mark. That's actually really good as well. That's really nice. Damn. So many good cards. Don't have any mark triggers, sadly. Damn. Not gonna make it. Couldn't go infinite. Could not continue to go infinite. That's the problem I have with the knight. You need to hit those very specific chain cards that when you chain, you get another card and then you can repeat this process where your hand refills by doing the correct combo. Never really got many of those cards. And when I did, 
one of them didn't even work. I wonder why that was. I'm still wondering if I just misplayed it. I probably did. But you get the idea of this game when I said you had to build a hand and not so much a deck. So there you go. Run Gore. It's the prologue. Hence the beginner experience, I imagine. It should be out in a few days. As I said at the beginning of the video, the 2nd of September is a date that comes to mind. Once again, don't quote me on that. But I'm sure you can find it on Steam if you are interested. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check the description box below. And I will catch you uh, guys next time with a brand new video. With a brand new game, hopefully. Good night. And as always, I'm out.